In our next lesson, we're going to be talking about the menus in the Macintosh, but there's an important concept I want to button down before we get there, and that is the difference between foreground and background applications. I've got three applications running on this computer right now. I've got the Finder, of course that's always running. I've got Safari, it's got a little black dot, you see both under the Finder and Safari, and then way over here, I've got the calculator running. So these three applications, the calculator, Safari, and the desktop, which is part of the Finder. So when I click on the desktop, you don't really see anything happen, but let me click on the calculator, and I could click on it here, or I could click in the, uh, down in the dock. I could go down there and click on it. And it came to the foreground, and you notice that the menu bar changed. The application menu now reads calculator, right? If I click on Safari, watch what happens. It comes to the foreground. And these visual indicators, this vibrant color of the close box, the minimize, and the zoom box, see, these are grayed out in the calculator because it's in the background right now. And of course, the application menu now reads Safari. So clicking on an application brings it to the foreground. Now the desktop, remember, is the finder. It's that's the application that represents the desktop, that presents the desktop to us. So that's the Finder. So if I click out on the desktop, I bring the Finder to the front. So the concept of foreground and background applications, this is really important because the menuing system changes up here. And I'm going to be talking about that in the next episode. And to see this, and understand that you can have multiple applications open at the same time. That's an important concept. Another visual indicator you might have noticed is that these things actually overlap, don't they? You can see them overlapping, and that gives you a good idea of what's in the foreground and what's in the background. And there's also some shadowing, some shading here that really highlights the fact that, that this, this calculator window is currently floating above Safari. Safari's in the background, the calculator is in the foreground, and that plays out in the menu system across the top of the screen. We're going to talk about that next.